Sting, I told you, don't call me at work, man. Later, all right, dude? Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Stuart Copeland. I'm here to answer your questions from the internet. And this is Drummer Support. At Download Music, Z. Does it matter how you hold your drumsticks? Uh, we all have our preferences. I favor orthodox technique like this, voila. Most drummers today play match grip, voila. The reason I play like that is because I'm old school. The snare drum derives from marching bands. And when the soldier is marching with a snare drum between his legs, it clonks his knee. So he turns it on an angle. So to try and play like that is a problem. So they play like that, which is a much more natural position. At Sydney Allagood, what is the hardest song to drum? I would say Sister Sadie by Buddy Rich. Some challenging stuff on there. In my music, my oeuvre, Spirits in the Material World, it is my personal bête noire. And it's because there's no one. It's all upbeat. It's all upbeats. At Val Ambrose, hello, I'm a beginner at drumming. Do you have any tips that could help me out? That is what we're here for today. Learn to fill in with the rhythm. You don't need a drum set. Just listen to records and tap on your knees. That's step one, and everything else derives from that. Posted by You Drummer Wayne 101. Why are the police hard to play because of Stuart? You just answered the question right there. You smart. At Lilibit slash Jojo. Musicians, what does playing in the pocket mean to you? How do you achieve that? The pocket is when musicians are locked to each other's pulse. It just feels good. Like in the Rolling Stones are a great example of just, it's all messed up, it's loose, it's ramshackle, it's cow, whoa, whoa. But they've got that pocket. They're in sync with each other in an elemental, organic way. That is the pocket. And a pocket is the holy grail of all ensemble playing. At Mod Drummer, what is the best way for a new drummer to get better at playing drum fills? A drum fill is um, when you're playing along. Here's a drum fill. Practice slow to achieve speed. If you're just going as fast as you can, you know, you're not gonna play perfectly, but if you concentrate by playing slow, You're focusing on getting both hands even, and you're doing it absolutely at a comfortable speed so that you can execute perfectly. So when you're practicing, always be perfect. When you're on stage, you don't have to give a fuck because you're just making the shit up. If you're thinking about being perfect, you're just gonna be lame. At Joxus, Q-O-T-D. While in the Beatles, was Ringo Starr a good drummer or merely a competent drummer? He was a very good drummer. He had an excellent groove. A groove is when the music hangs together in such a way that it's not just correct, but it makes your hips move. And he was very imaginative in the way he used drums in a pop song. You can find online three versions of the Beatles' first song, Love Me Do. And there is a version with their original drummer, Pete Best. It ain't the Beatles. It's just like kind of lame. It doesn't hang together. Then there's a version with Ringo Starr. Okay, we're now with the Beatles. But then for some unknown reason, they hired a session drummer and Ringo is now on tambourine. And as you listen, you realize the charisma in the rhythm isn't on the drum set anymore. That's just some session guy. The charisma is just the tambourine part has got a vibe. And that's Ringo. It's vibe. It's X factor. It's undefinable. In fact, music is the only art form that will usurp motor control of your body. On the dance floor, people are in public thrusting their pudenda at each other in an overt sexual display. Try that without music, you get arrested. At Mike Rizinko, favorite reggae song, Z. Reggae song with the most creative drum and or most impressive drumming. Lively Up Yourself by Bob Marley and the Wailers. But another one, a seminal piece was The Israelites by Desmond Decker. 
And that's the first time I ever heard the Bass Ackwards reggae drum figure. Cool thing about reggae drumming is it's a drum solo all the way through. They never stop. They're just playing stuff. They're, they're always playing something in contravention of the pop rules of respect for the vocals. Fuck the vocals. At Mark Lanyon. Do drum kits need tuning? Yes, you can change the sound of your drums. I, I tend to go by tuning them up. And a little word of advice for bands is when you're doing your sound check and you're going boom, boom. Okay, second rack, Tom Tom. And they sound huge by themselves. But as soon as the band kicks in, they disappear. By tuning them higher, they may sound a little they may sound a little rinky-dinky without the rest of the band, but as soon as the other music fills in, they cut through. At Burn This Town. No, seriously. How do you learn songs on drums? By ear? You don't. You just bang shit. Yes, by ear, by instinct. And if you are musical, you will know when 16 bars are up, when 8 bars are up, or whatever. And a musical memory is a very, very strange thing. It's much better than any other form of memory. You can forget people's names, you can forget what you learned in geography class, but for some reason you learn how to play a tune and it lasts forever. When the police did a reunion tour, I mean, listen to those songs for 30 years and I get my practice real okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I knew everything note perfect. 30 years later. At Tones of Music, who's the best drummer you've seen live? Well, Buddy Rich, uh, Mitch Mitchell. There's a lot of drummers that I really like that aren't famous names. They just have a great lope. They just have a great feel to them. Taylor Hawkins just had a great feel to him. Ringo Starr, Charlie Watts. No chops there, but just that groove is way, way cool. Now, on the younger end of it, I would say Joey Jordison sadly departed with Slipknot. That little bastard had chops. You know, kids these days, they start out where we left off. And it's like the Olympics where every year they can jump a little higher run a little faster. How's that possible? Has the human species evolved in one year? I don't know. But Joey Jordison doing things with his feet that I aspire to with my hands. I am the law. How is drum music written? Is it like standard music? Yes, it is exactly the same music, only without pitch. Often percussion scores and drum scores will use lines. There'll be a line just for the snare drum, rat, tat, tat, tat. And it has the same note value, 16th note, 8th note, and what have you. From Coach, a serious question for drummers. Do y'all feel it when y'all be speeding up or no? Actually, no. It may feel like the world is slowing down, but of course, one's subjective concept of tempo, mind being particularly shifty, is that you feel like you're just doing what's perfect. For instance, with police songs, some of them, we had a click, you know, for a handful of the police songs. The reason we did that was because I'd speed up when it goes into the chorus. But with the click, wow, the sensation is that the track just slowed down. You gotta be kidding, that, that click just slowed down. What's the matter with you, click? I'm human, this is my rhythm. <laughs> Tempo is very subjective. MDXV, 111, are there any rules to adding swing to drums? Well, my daddy was a jazz musician. He used to complain about the music that I listened to because where's the swing? If it don't swing, it don't mean a thing. Uh, dad, there's all kinds of music that doesn't swing, but really swing is a specific kind of jazzy sort of feel. And it just sort of has a feeling of a shuffle to it. It's not, it's, it's not, it's what you could call a dotted rhythm, or a swing rhythm, or a shuffle. At Metal Walden, favorite odd time signature and why? I don't like odd time signatures because basically it's like a hiccup. You know, the old joke of how do you conduct 5-4 time? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh. I guess take five by Joe Morello is one of those religious experiences that every drummer needs to have. It's kind of the most wrongest form of jazz ever. It's sublime. Posted by you slash Timmy Owens. Any tips for playing fast punk rock, pop punk? I guess the fundamental thing that to keep in mind is to play it fast. 
A way to achieve speed is to relax. Really, the vibe you want is... Metal drummers are even faster. That... Right. Muscle up, eat your Wheaties, and just play it faster. This is from Bill Hater. Hey, music nerds. I'm trying to understand the concept of polyrhythm. Polyrhythm is uh, when you play two rhythms at once. That's one rhythm. It just means a lot of rhythms on top of each other that kind of contrast with each other. Well, students, this is all I have for you today. Eat your Wheaties, do your homework, and drum on!